Adam here from Car Care Kiosk. We're gonna show you a couple things here that uh, you can kind of customize on this Toyota Corolla Cross. If you go into the menu screen here and we go into the setup, we page down to vehicle. It's gonna, it's, you're gonna see this vehicle customization. It's gonna give us a whole bunch of stuff here. Now let's take a look at some of this. You got the door lock settings. You have the automatic door lock. Uh, so basically if you shift from park and go into drive, that's going to uh, turn on. We have a few options. It can lock by speed uh, when you put the car out of park or you can completely turn it off. There's a few different options. The automatic door lock uh, unlock is the same. Uh, once you shift to park, it will unlock the car and you can change that as well. You can uh, um, only use the driver's side door, you can turn it off, you can, you can set this up kind of however you want. Um, remote to press unlock, this one is basically, um, I believe you have to press the uh, key fob twice to unlock it instead of once. And you can, you can see now this is off, but if you touch there, you can turn, you can toggle that on and off. Uh, wireless lock when door open. That basically, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that one means, but um, you can toggle that on and off as well. And then if we go down here, uh, select doors to unlock. Um, when you do the unlocks, all doors, driver's door, you can change that up. Um, the auto uh, relock, this is basically um, right here. This is basically how long it's gonna take. If you park your car, get out of it and leave, that's how long it's gonna take before your car essentially automatically locks itself. Um, you got the lock uh, lights here. This is uh, with the uh, headlights and stuff. They'll flash when you lock your car. You can toggle that on and off. And then um, there's also a tone. Um, again, I don't know if that's the horn or something inside the car, but you can actually change the volume on that if you want in here. So that's kind of that section. If we go back, there is another section here, this climate settings. This one only has one thing in it, this auto AC mode on. Essentially what I think that is, is basically when it starts getting hot enough, the AC is just gonna kick on automatically um, for you, which is kind of nice, but you can turn that off or on from, from this location. Then, I kind of went back a little bit here, so we'll go back into that vehicle customization. Then we have light settings as well. Now, the headlights auto on sensitivity, this is basically because the headlights will stay off um, while it is daylight out, but once it gets dark, you can change the sensitivity here so that it'll get, um, the headlights will go on maybe at dusk instead of when it actually gets dark. So you can kind of just toy with that a little bit. Headlights auto off timer, 30 seconds. That again is um, if you uh, park your car, I believe, and happen to like leave your lights on, it's gonna turn the lights off for you, essentially. The daytime running lights, this is actually kind of a cool one. The daytime running lights, you can actually turn on or off from here, which is kind of cool, because sometimes you don't necessarily really need them. Um, you may have a bulb out and you don't really want to be sending electricity to there with a broken bulb, so you can adjust that from here. Same thing with the interior lights here. We have the auto off timer. We can go in here and you can set it up for however long, uh, seven and a half, 15, 30 seconds, whatever you uh, think is best for you. And then the last thing, we just have these uh, convenience services. Now, I'm not exactly sure uh, what this is, um, but it you, you can adjust it from in here. Also, if we go back into this vehicle, this is also where you can put it in uh, valet mode, where you can kind of lock certain things of the car if you do need to valet your car. Um, we also have some dealer info in here. You can put in where you bought the car and you know who your sales guy was and his contact information in case something happens with the car and you need to uh, contact them you can access it right through here which is kind of convenient for you so that's kind of just showing you this vehicle menu in here which is kind of a uh, neat thing that they have where you can adjust quite a few things on this uh, Corolla Cross here